This evening, another female state lawmaker is going public with her story of sexual harassment. DFL Representative Lori Halverson says that she has been harassed many times at the state capitol. Tonight, in a story you'll see only on WCCO, Representative Halverson says it is a common experience for female lawmakers of both parties. Pat Kelso joins us right now with more. Pat? Yes, it's a stunning story. Representative Halverson was elected to office in 2012. She is a Democratic leader in the House. Tonight, she reveals she's been sexually harassed for years at the Capitol by lawmakers from both parties. She's a three term state representative and the assistant DFL minority leader. But Lori Halverson says it hasn't stopped unwanted sexual advances. And we're not going to take it anymore. Among many harassment incidents she describes at the Capitol, Halverson cites three in particular, all involving fellow lawmakers. The first in 2015. I had a legislator tell me that he was thinking of me when he should have been thinking about his wife. 2016. I had a legislator say that. Um, he wanted to kiss me. And this year, she says a lawmaker showed her a graphic photo shown on an iPhone in front of another lawmaker and a lobbyist of a man's genitals. Against my will. I was saying, don't show it to me, don't show it to me. And it was shown to me. My blood ran cold, and I said in my head, I wanted to run, but I had to stay there and hold my ground. Halverson is the second state lawmaker to publicly reveal harassment against her. Last week, a female lawmaker and a candidate leveled harassment charges against DFL State Senator Dan Schoen and Republican Representative Tony Cornish. Halverson says she won't name her harassers and won't file a complaint. Why? She says she's concerned about repercussions against her at the Capitol. As soon as I report and name a name, the story turns right around onto me, and the questions turn right around onto me. What did she do? What was her role in this? And my role was nothing. Halverson tells us she knows other women who have been sexually harassed at the Capitol but are afraid to go public. The Minnesota House is preparing to hire an independent outside investigator to look into some of the charges against one representative. And today, Democratic Governor Mark Dayton called for the resignation of any state lawmaker who commits sexual harassment or sexual assault. All right. Thank you, Pat. You bet.